Do you get frustrated with slow internet? You don't want to have to wait for this stuff. You shouldn't have to wait. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, 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 a lot. Yes, very much so. It's most of the time. Uh, school projects, those take a while to get done. Can't really do my work. Well, in my college con class, we had to answer questions on uh, an online classroom, I guess you call it, and couldn't get on the internet, so couldn't do it. Couldn't do my work for the class. Um, it's frustrating because most of my projects in the East require internet, so therefore I can't use them or do them. Um, I could do a whole lot more projects. The school could actually run YouTube videos and teach their students a lot more than what they do now. Get faster internet to uh, get our work done faster and turn in our projects and basically to keep stress off of us actually. So we can actually get our work done and work on projects. Um, I think we could get a grant, um, probably about 10000 and I think that we could set up much faster wireless or internet right now is 6 megabytes per second and the standard household of 5 people is 10 megabytes per second and so we're not even running something that would support a household. Well, there's a lot of different factors that go in. Mainly, uh, up to this point, schools have not had enough bandwidth. Uh, the core networks uh, haven't been strong. Um, a lot of schools are behind on their connectivity between buildings. Um, at, at Cutter here, we do have a, a pretty good internal network. Uh, we've got a gigabyte connection from our, our main source to all the other buildings. Um, our problem is that you know we have a six meg uh, bandwidth uh, load where with all the new testing requirements that, that are coming uh, for PARC, um, we're going to a 100 meg connection. Um, from there, you know, rolling forward into the future, we're going to need to advance to a 300 meg uh, connected connection. Um, mainly because everything is going online. You're seeing a lot more uh, virtual classes being offered, and you're also seeing a lot of uh, web-based material uh, where, you know, we're going to this website and we're running this program and we're streaming video, uh, you know, from there. Um, not everything is set up on a cache server where we can run it from our server. So we're having to go and reach, uh, reach out to other websites. Um, and, and that's growing. It's getting bigger and bigger. Uh, there's also uh, you know, a big push, a big initiative to go to a one-to-one -one, um, uh, device ratio. Um, so that, what that means is uh, starting from the ninth grade through uh, the twelfth grade, Every kid has their own device, uh, be it a, a Chromebook or an iPad or uh, a laptop. Uh, and that follows them through, um, you know, their, from their ninth to their twelfth grade year. So <clears throat> when we move to something like that, um, that's going to be a lot more intense. You know, you're going to, you know, basically triple, at least triple the, the number of devices that you have uh, that are going to have access to the network at any given time. So uh, there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of activity. You know, on on the network, um, so that's kind of that's kind of why the bandwidth is is I, I don't want to say bad. It's just it's not enough to provide everything that that we're trying to do.